What's up, Donnie D'Amato here again, uh, still bored. Uh, so I have a, a lot of leftover cardboard from the Great Icosa del Tecahedron build uh, that's completed over there. Uh, so I've decided to build something else from... I can never say the book right because I have this like lisp thing that happens. Shapes, Space, and Symmetry by Alden Holden. There's the book. As I said, pages are coming out, but apparently this is the page I need. So I'm just going to take it out here and I'm going to show you what I'm going to build next. It is a compound of five tetrahedra. You see them? There they are there. And there's a construction that's down here. Now the construction that's down here has similar pieces to the, my great Icosa dodecahedra build that's back there. Um, but the problem is, uh, the pieces, when I use the similar pieces that I use over here, uh, it just didn't come out big enough and I'll show you what it looked like. Here's a uh, cardboard here. So you can see there's the piece after using my big pieces here. Like you'll see, you know, this piece here, right? And I have a 60 degree angle here, and then there's a whole bunch of bisecting lines to make this piece. So I wanted to make the piece a little bit bigger. Um, so I realized some of the angles are similar to the angles that I used already before. For instance, um, there's an equilateral, actually two equilateral triangles in the piece. So I took one of the um, forms that I used for the last build, and this is an equilateral uh, triangle, or two sides of an equilateral triangle here. This is a 60 degree angle right here. So I basically use this, this triangle here, and then the other angle it uses is this angle. So I kind of put them on top of each other like this, and then there is a, a bisecting line right here, it goes up, and where these, where this line continues going is actually the other um, equilateral triangle that's up here. So you can see here's the, the final piece, I'll show you the, uh, the two angles, so you have your, uh, on top, you have your 60 degree angle there, right, and then you have this angle here. See that? And then you can see the equilateral triangle that I put out here. So then all I really did after that was I put this, well, actually I put it like this, on the line here. You see that? On the line here. And I found out what angle that was, and then I, wherever I bisected here, that's where I chopped it off. And then I made the equilateral triangle, and then I made this line and this line exactly the same, and I just hit that fifth line right there, which is not any kind of angle that really is related to the rest of them. But this is an equilateral triangle here, and one, two, three would be another equilateral triangle there. So that's pretty much how I constructed it. Wikipedia has a different way of constructing it, which is a little odd to me. Um, if you search uh, compound tetrahedra, no, comp yeah. Compound solids, or something like that, on Wikipedia. That is another way of constructing this, which is really weird. But anyway, um, like I said, I decided to build this compound of five tetrahedra. Because um, I think it was a cool looking thing in the book, and I, like I said, I had extra uh, uh, cardboard. So I've already made a whole bunch, and I'll bring you down over here. You'll see that there's, you know, a ton of. Uh, ton of them over here. There's actually, um, I'm 14 of these pieces short. I know those look like a lot, but I need 60, and that's why this is 60 here. Um, so I need 14 more pieces, and I'm actually going to be able to use this cardboard here to cut out the other pieces. And I think you can see I drew them kind of lightly here, just so I could see where they would fit on the cardboard. I get, I get eight of them out of this sheet, and I'll get another you know, eight if I needed to out of this, but I only need uh, 14, so I'll get only like six or so, and I'll have some cardboard left over. So, um, I'm kind of going to go ahead and do a, uh, hi, I'm going to kind of do a time lapse, I guess, of me cutting them out. I know it's not as interesting, um, but it, I guess to make them fit efficiently on a piece of cardboard, is, I think is uh, interesting, I suppose, uh, just to know, not to waste cardboard, you know, there's little pieces of cardboard here that are left over. And then um, I'm going to show you more of the build than I did of the 
Great close to Dodecahedron over there because that was a uh, you know first time kind of build like uh, I don't know how I'm gonna put it together but now I have a way better idea of where the tape should be used and all that kind of good stuff so you'll see some time lapse more time lapse of me actually putting the thing together from almost from scratch so let's uh, begin. Hey, what's up, Donnie Dimato? Um, so what we've done is we have all the templates here, or not the templates, but the pieces that we're going to be making for the uh, build. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is actually just put it together. I'm using packaging tape because it is cardboard, and packaging tape works really well with cardboard. And then after I tape it all together with this uh, tape, I'm going to uh, put black tape over the outside of it, and that will be the color like this thing is, where the blue and the white is, it'll be black, and then I'm going to have some kind of like either white or yellow, orange tape doing the outlines like the black tape is over there. So that's the idea. Um, so let's get started. So that's one, and uh, since I have 60 of them, I need to make 20 more of these and put them together. Um, so it's a little bit of a mess inside there. You can't really see it. It's a mess though because it's clear tape. But um, it's going to be hard because of the uh, spiked nature that this thing is. Um, the other build over there was more of like an, a uh, concave build, and this one's more of a convex build. That makes any sense. Anyway, uh, we're gonna keep it going. Um, probably won't see uh, the pieces like this being put together, but I'll probably go for one where I'm putting these modules together. Uh, another video of that. So I'll see you a little bit. All right, we're back and uh, we got the modules done. Uh, you could see that they're different heights because these. These have more thicker pieces of cardboard than these did. Uh, there's a couple of thin ones in here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the modules together. Put them together. And um, the modules, 
What's supposed to happen is that these, because these are equilateral triangles and these are the same size here, these modules are supposed to have the equilateral triangles go together. I'm not totally sure how. Oh, wait. Like this. That's how they do it. See that? See that? Really complicated. So, um, that's how we're going to tape them together. Just like that. And there's going to be five of them in this kind of direction here. So, uh, let's get started. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't really do a lot of the time lapse stuff. My father was calling me back and forth, uh, so I didn't want to stop and start and stop and start. Just, if we're gonna do time lapse, we'll do one big run. But um, I, you know, in between all that, I put the modules together, the smaller modules, made bigger modules out of them, and this is it. All right, I'll back up the camera a little bit so maybe you can see it. Um, or you can see her like that. There you go. So that's it. Again, there's five tetrahedra in here. I'm down here, huh? Five tetrahedra, you could probably see this is a, a triangle point here. You know, there's five, there's five of them in here, so those are the points there. And then obviously, if you turn it, you can see that it's, you know, like this thing over here. I don't know. You could, it's difficult to tell because they're all on top of each other. But again, it's just one piece, basically, that is multiplied 60 times um, over here. And like I said, the next step is to literally just cover it in black duct tape uh, and make the whole thing black. Um, and don't worry, you're gonna be able to see the edges because I'm gonna make the edges either white or yellow or something like that, depending on what the craft store has. Um, and that's pretty much it. So there you go. It's a uh, composite uh, tetrahedra, uh, five tetrahedra, um, polyhedron. There you go. Um, so, like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the whole like taping or well, recording me taping it, um, but I'll probably get the final result up as a picture online soon enough. So, What's up everybody, Donnie D'Amato here, um, and uh, as you saw before, I was making that compound five uh, piece, or it's not five piece, but five tetrahedron, uh, polyhedron, and here it is. Um, it is pretty looking on camera. It's a little, I don't know, I guess raw when you see it in person, but on camera this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. I can, you know, with the whole shiny and the, and the yellow edges and stuff like that. Um, so again, I don't know if you could tell, but this point here, this point here, and this point here are a triangle. And that triangle is part of a tetrahedron that's embedded in here. There's five of them. And um, it's cool because it has that spiral pattern that happens in there. Um, after their, you know, as a three-dimensional shape. It's actually very, very sturdy, this thing. You could probably toss it around and stuff. Uh, the masking tape edges are a little bit loose, um, but everything else, since, since the uh, covering is actually two rolls of duct tape, um, it's actually very sturdy, so it won't really uh, go anywhere, which is cool, um, considering the, the bigger piece over there uh, is still pretty fragile. Uh, because it's not connected inside really. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the build um, and uh, I actually still have more cardboard here so um, I don't know what I'm gonna build next. I don't know if I should build anything next. Who knows? I mean, there's not a lot of other pretty things in that book so I might have to go searching for some uh, different things to build or do or something. 
Anyway, that's it.